Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video, and following up on this morning's surprise content preview, uh, among uh, and other things, um, just want to bring a little bit of attention to what happened in the ensuing hours. So, uh, as a timeline, so last night, being the 31st of January, we did not get a content preview. Okay, fine. Uh, this morning at 3 a.m., when we would normally get a skill preview for the incoming units, we did get a skill preview for Albedo, and it was this one. Uh, we'll take a look at it. So it says a 30 skill cost, 10% up to 990%, and then 10% up right here. Well, uh, they then posted that there were some errors in the posted tweet, so we deleted the tweet and reposted it. We apologize for any convenience this caused to our users. So, what happened is that this 30 cost skill is now a 25 cost skill. This 10% up to 990% is 5% 5% to 100%, and then this is a 50% up skill right here. So, this, according to the Google Translate, this was a 10% alt resistance down with despair up to a cap of 990. That is no longer the case. It is now the same despair skill that Ainz has, so it applies it to the front line, 5% of the characters, uh, no, the enemy's attack and passive damage, and 5% alt resistance down to a cap of 100. It is the exact same skill that Ainz has now. So no extra alt damage resistance down or anything. It is literally this skill except for the second part because uh the first translation was 10 percent stun strike that is no longer the case this was stun strike right here this 10 percent. I, I know it's hard to see take my word for it it's now alt gauge on greens for one turn 50 percent so eins is giving skill uh green protection gauge albedo is giving green alt gauge now for 25 points instead of 30. So the entire skill is now different. Um, does that make her better? Uh, no, I actually kind of think it makes her worse, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. 10% alt resistance down for you know up to a almost a thousand point cap is a lot better than this 100% cap with 5% of the time, uh, because this despair skill is awful. It's terrible. Uh, I'm very sad that they continue to give it to the Overlord units, but I guess they're gonna keep it thematic. So, you're going to have to deal with it. Probably means that Shaltir is going to have it, and that's just a waste of her skill as well. And then green alt gauge. This is a stacking team. So, I mean, like, did we need it? No, because you can bring Isis. But, I mean, if you're going to run the full meta team, which we're going to get enough for a full meta, you don't have room for Isis then. So, I, I guess it works. Uh, it would work even better if we had an alt swapper, which, thankfully... We, uh, we do, because we have the Shizu skill preview that came out two hours after Albedo's. This came out at 5 a.m. Albedo came out at 3, so whoever's working Bandai and doing skill previews, uh, that intern, he came back to the office, but I think he was high or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know why they couldn't just drop it all at once, and there's still no English version of these, by the way. They, they, they just didn't post the English versions. So, that's awesome. But, Albedo is a single target, or no, she's an AoE, 300%, raises uh, magic allies attack by 5%. And then, she is space. So, another space AoE unit. I mean, we have quite a few space AoE units, because, let's see, let's let's count it out. We got Shizu. No, she's single target, actually. Uh, where, let's see. We've got, where where's the useless one? Space Lumi and Space Violet. They're both AoEs. Shizu is a single target, and then Raphael is an AoE. And then Violet up here and Jean are both single targets. So, I mean, we have a good mix then, now that the second anniversary's come and gone. Uh, and then we have the Albedo Shizu, the mystery unit. And I see a whole bunch of people arguing that this isn't the actual mystery unit because the pose isn't the same in the um, what, whatever, the promotional stuff, uh, this right here. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, it doesn't have to be. This is promotional. It doesn't have to match the actual artwork. 
for all we know, this could be from her freaking alt animation as a still. So I'm I'm gonna break your heart, but this is who it's this is who it is, and you're just gonna have to live with that fact. But um, she does have a double alt swap to greens for 15 points. So the same exact skill that Idle Shuna has two green or two orbs into two alts for 15 points. It's the same skill with a 10% uh, gauge up increase. It is the exact same skill. Shizu is a single target wind nuker. She has pure damage. She doesn't have an extra effect right here. It's just 490%. So, all right then. We have our orb changer. Now, as far as the first skills are concerned, it, it's up in the air, right? I, I like If we can make this Shizu just pure utility, alt swap, and then make her the triple orb changer that we desperately need on this team, the two oranges and one blue to three greens, like all the other blue stacking teams have. Guy, Megamine, Violet have variations of that. Guy is two greens and an orange. Megamine and Violet are two oranges and a green to three blues. Uh, on a stacking team, we need that. And if we can put it on Shizu, I will call her a very, very, very good unit for any green team. She doesn't need to have big-time buffs to do it, because probably those big-time buffs are going to be locked behind other limitations. But if you give me a triple orb changer to greens and a green alt swapper, you can put her on any green team in the world. Any future green team, any old green team. And I think that would make her fantastic. Albedo, probably going to be a big-time buffer, probably going to be another kind of limited style of buff like Ainz has, where it's Stern of Spirit or Wholehearted Devotion or Commander or something like that. Uh, you know, gigantic alt damage buff plus something else. Probably 80 points, that's what I'm going to assume. Which then leaves room for Shaltir when she shows up sometime two weeks from now. Because... These uh, We know that the content preview in-game goes until the 13th, which is technically the 12th for me. So it's going from the 1st to the 12th, which means that we could see Shaltir the night of the 12th. We could see Shaltir the night of the 13th or even the 14th. And we have this like kind of three-day window where we could see Shaltir. And it's going to be quite a long time away. But we do have Ranked Valor and Jubilee in between that time frame. So at least we'll have something to do in between then instead of having just Predator Battle, which also isn't in the news, but I assume it's going to be here. So Shoutier, I'm going to call it, will probably have Despair as well, which leaves one more skill, which will probably be the final big time buff for the Overlord team. Or they just don't make Shizu the green god that I want her to be, and we they give the orb change to Shoutier or something like that, and they make us wait. You know, that's also certainly an option. But, I mean, we'll have to see what these ladies actually do when we get them in-game in roughly eight hours from now. But, yeah, I mean, I wish JP got their crap together and posted everything at the same time and gave us English versions. But let me know what you guys think of Albedo and Albedo Shizu, whatever you want to give her a nickname. Um, are you happy with, you know, their, well, Albedo's updated quote-unquote correct kit? Are you happy with the double alt swap to greens on Shizu? Let me know, but that's it for me. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you later tonight.